everyone, welcome, and today I'm gonna take a look at the Vittorio character rig for Maya, recently released by actor Abraham Torres, and very excited about this rig, I got this standard, standard version here, and I'm gonna try it out and see what I think is interesting, very promising, I love a lot of things about it, and I just wanna highlight the things that I like the most, and as a reminder, Animation Flow students have 20% off on this rig, thank you so much Hector, and yeah, let's just dive in. First of all, the rig is very light. I do have a, a powerful computer, but it is real time on my end. So that is a huge plus. And just going over the basics, we have the main, like two mains here. All the visibility stuff is on the top, which I love. There is nothing around for like specific parts. And we have like the translation of the face controllers if you want to keep it to the side, which is pretty interesting. So you can still manipulate, but everything is just over to the side. I don't know if that's very useful, but it is interesting. I love how we have all the controllers here. I'm going to turn it off all. And you have, for example, squash one, because there's just like one level of controller squash. Eyebrows, we have one, two, three, and four. And the more you add, more controllers are showing up. Really good, really smart way to do it. And really good to like just keep your blocking really simple with just like one and two. And then when you're polishing up, you can go to level four of the formation. I'm going to leave on three here. Eyelids the same. And I feel like this level, level three, is barely used, but it's a great op option to have it there. Eye sockets, I love how you have a lot of controls on the socket. I feel like a lot of rigs are missing that. Cheeks and nose, mouth, same thing. Teeth and tongue, all the controllers. For the body, we can turn on and off the extra controllers for the arms, for the legs, spine, FK that is on top, spine IK, they both work at the same time. So if you move the FK, the IK goes together. If you move the IK, the FK goes together. So it's like a hybrid IK, FK system, which I love. Secondary controls, it's just like another COG in case of gimbal. So we can just turn off the secondary controls. Fingers on and off, foot pivot on and off. And uh, op uh, options of head and hair, jacket, top, I'll just leave everything as default, but you have a lot of opportunity here to customize this character and make it unique for your shot, which is pretty cool. Rings, etc. Uh, smoothness, you can put one and two, and cloth, one or two. I'm gonna leave everything zero while you test it out, but I do like when we get to the face, it's smoothing a little bit more the geometry so it's not so low poly. Cool. In terms of the model, very nice, very well designed nice proportions. Let's go over the body first and a few highlights that I have it here. The formation is extremely well done. You see how I'm bending this leg and how it creates a really nice shape. I think that's one of the hardest things to have on rigs is whenever you get your leg up, it has like a nice deformation. And like I said, let's put this on to smoothness. So we actually have the real smoothness that will be out during the render. So this is pretty cool. The foot roll control, we have like the toe bend, and all the foot roll stuff, it is in here, uh, in this controller back here. And I like how you can also go to the sides, and it creates the side rotation, or like a little bit diagonal. So this is pretty cool. It has the angle, you can change this angle for when the foot roll is going to stop being active. And you also have those specifics for the sides, etc. Standard, but really well done. The formations are outstanding. Then when we get to the spine here, I really like how we have the hips controller and how the hips are actually just behaving like the hips controller. So the pivot is on the right place. And we have the lower IK, which actually brings a little bit of the, the body as well. So really like that. And in terms of the IK spine, pretty straightforward, FK spine, pretty straightforward as well. Deformation, a little bit of a squash and stretch. Very good. I like how, like when you deform this way, you see like the character holds up the shape really well. And you see like you don't have a lot of losing volume, which is great. Great job done in here. And I really love this controller here that controls just the shoulders, like it's the chest FK but it can just give like a nice breathing and a nice like shrug motion. So this is actually pretty cool because you can have everything happening here, but you still have the shoulder to just settle in. 
so very very nice controller the clavicle this is a big one and i see a lot of rigs out there they're not done like this and this one i love that the pivot is actually where the clavicle muscle is and as it goes up you see how it starts squeezing the traps and going like up all the way here super well done really really good deformation here <laughs> really nice really like how the shoulders are working you can also translate them around there is a parameter of shoulder tension that you can get like a muscle definition here on on his shoulder like the shoulder cap i guess is the name i don't know so that's pretty cool arms i really like how this also has a dynamic like you're deforming and you see like the bicep is just like growing and the tricep like really nice use of blend shape really nice and still to be so responsive that's really cool uh what surprised me the most was the hand setup i really really liked how this hand is set up where you have this controller here where i can easily get a fist and this fist is designed with the character amazing really cool or if i want to just get a relax i can just like bring it here rotate a little bit out so this controller is huge for time saving and you still have like all the controllers here deforming extremely well it's super hard to get good hands out there so this one was a surprise and we have hand size ik fk and the ik not much a surprise here a standard ik but with very good deformations you see how the shoulder is going in it's pushing the geometry of the back so that is all super well done very feature film quality now let's go to the faces the face is where the magic happens and i'm gonna just start posing i got this reference from maui and this is our reference right here i'm gonna just pin this reference here let's try to do this pose and see how much we can push in terms of getting to this shape with this character i'm gonna create a new camera a pretty similar camera here i got maui because a big character as well so it kind of matches a little bit doesn't match exactly the same vibe of the character but proportion wise i think it's pretty close so i'm gonna go here and start with the body getting the shoulders back here it's just like huh and it feels like the chest is here shoulders here and remember it comes with a mg picker so that is also a nice extra i personally don't use pickers but i know a lot of people use it and it's very useful to have a picker done for your rig so but me just personally i i don't know i just got used to not use it cool <coughs> all the rotation orders are correct which i love i hate getting rigs where the x and y or they're not symmetrical where one goes up and the other one goes down when you do this so this this is great you don't need to worry about rotation order or anything like that with this rig we have like two neck controllers it gives a lot of like way to manipulate we have like a head controller that is called actually neck up because it moves also the neck around if you're looking to the side or something and this is the actual head just the head for like small adjustments so very very well thought giving all these extra controllers uh, I'm give a little bit more of a twisting here and now let's start with the mouth jaw i like how this corner like translates around the geometry and this okay we can always push the teeth in overall i'm really liking this rig i opened it before starting this video and i really liked what i could do and then i decided to just do it live because you guys know me i prefer doing stuff live more and the teeth amount of teeth control is perfect i want to get this teeth down here and i can actually deform it which is great and tongue the same thing it has like even too many tongue controls we can turn it off if we need it and we can move the mouth around a little bit pushing this uh-huh feeling can push this back a little bit more uh -huh. and you see like i have this deforming here i can just bring this teeth in a little bit more and getting this here and maybe we don't show even any teeth 
I might get a little bit more of a the jaw forward. I like that we have this control here just for the jaw. I love how we have control for the jaw line as well because I want to get a little rounder here. A little rounder here. And now to get the nose. Uh -huh. Like he's kind of like pushing this up a little bit. Maybe we can even push this expression a tiny bit more. Yeah, overall, I feel like I have all the controllers I need for the face, and they behave how I'm expecting, which that's what I'm expecting from a feature quality rig. I'm expecting like to pull this around, like be able to rotate it, to read the shape how I want, and the shape be consistent and clean. And if I don't think the shape is clean enough, I like that I have an option here to get this smoother, so you can really see how this is gonna look with this smooth geometry. And here, for example, like, oh yeah, I feel like this could be even more designed, so I can just come in here and really really draw this line here. See how now it's a lot prettier and I can bring this in a little bit. Cool. Get his teeth out there. Nice. The corners has a nice zip as well. Roll. You can just roll the corner, which is also pretty cool. And chin tension. That's also pretty cool. Like really nice parameters here. The row is not really working for us. I don't think we need a roll here. And the same on this one. We have the roll. Can roll it out in, compress, inflate. We actually need to deflate a little bit. Uh huh. And the thickness. And I'll get the thickness on the upper. Now let's go to the eyes. The nose is pretty good. I like how I have the nose bridge control as well. The eyes, I just want to have like a nice and round shape, wide open. And it seems pretty good. Nice. And then I can just select these controllers, mirror with any bot, and by default it's working, which is great. I love when the rig is by default compatible with any bot. You don't need to do extra setup. And I also like using the auto mirror from any bot if I want to get this eyes closer. Similar to the concept. I think the mouth could be a little more exaggerated, honestly. Let me turn off auto mirror. Cool. And now the eyebrows on this expression is pretty simple. Let's see if I can just make it simple using few controllers. Still here, like, ah, uh, brows up more. And this is looking pretty, pretty cool already. Very nice deformations. Overall, one of the best rigs I've seen out there available for purchase that is not like a professional rig if not the best, I would say. Really impressed by the quality. Thank you so much, Hector, for making this possible. It is it is a fantastic rig. And yeah, if you guys liked it, go ahead on Gumroad, headrigs.gumroad.com, and take a look, get a license, try it out. You can see here the examples. You can see how the deformations are good. Deluxe version has some extra props as well. And the picker with everything here. So, fantastic job. Really happy about this rig. So, yeah. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys on another rig review soon.